up, YouTube? Welcome back to Genius Aviation. Coming back here at you guys with my first ever on this mat, Tucson Airport. And when I say first ever on this mat, it's really the last ever at the same time on this mat. Because good news, um, the the solid gray board that I currently use for my airports, um, that is just going to be for um, just like miscellaneous airports. But tomorrow I will be going and getting four more of these four by eight pieces of plywood and just a few more sawhorses so I can make a massive airport. Um, but anyways, this is our massive Tucson International Airport update for you guys today. Uh, so hopefully you guys are excited for it. If you are, please show me by leaving a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notifications to not miss out any more aviation content coming up. So I'm going to try not to do too much blabbering before we go into the video, but uh, I just do want to point out, I did go plane spotting, um, and I saw pretty much this exact thing. Um, highly busy airport. But, yeah, so I mean, there's just like so many planes in this airport. This is in pandemic mode, which too is surprising. Uh, but the majority of the planes on ground here uh, that are at their gates are canceled, uh, such as this one. Uh, both of these Southwest. Uh, both of these Alaska. That Delta. And that American. And that American. So anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Starting this off, we're here with the imaginary. Oh, sorry. Back up to what I was saying. So exactly, we're going to have taxi lines, gate aprons, gate pull-ins, and then... Uh, I'm going to mark out where the terminals go just to make it exact. Then we're going to have runway 29 and 11, for example, for Tucson. Um, we're going to have like the accurate runways for that, for that airport. And I'm not promising runways for every airport, but we're definitely going to have them for two plus airports. Without further ado, let's go right into it. Starting us off, we have the United Airlines 737-800, the new livery. He's just rolling down the runway and he's just come in from Chicago O'Hare and is going to be making a return flight on time. Meanwhile, we have a United Airlines 737-800 taxiing out to the runway with the old livery. He's going to be heading out to runway 11 and is going to be making a flight out to Houston Hobby. I'm sorry, not Hobby. Uh, Houston, George Bush Intercontinental. Currently just pulling into gate Alpha 5. We have the United Express Bombier CRJ 200. He's going to be making a flight out to um, San Francisco. Right here, you have your United A319. He's going to be making a flight out to Houston uh, as he arrived in from Chicago. And then we have the United Express 175. He is going to be heading out to San Francisco, and he arrived in from Denver. So as you can see there, he just about to push back. So right here, we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700 in the Canyon Blue. And he's arrived in from San Diego and it's gonna be canceled on the way back out. Then in the middle there, the one I'm currently focusing on, we have the uh, Southwest Airlines 737, 700 in the Colorado one. He's come in from Chicago Midway and is canceled on the way back. Then back there, we have the Southwest 737, 700 in the Tennessee one paint scheme as he is just gotten to the gate after a flight from Las Vegas. And then we're here just about a pushback, uh, Flower the Hummingbird. You have a Frontier A320, and he is heading out to Denver, operating on a seasonal route. Just pushing back right here from Great Bravo 1, we have the Delta Connection, number 170. He's been making a flight out to Los Angeles as he arrived in from uh, Salt Lake City. Right here, we have, like, the best ever jet bridge fit on our Delta A320. He is canceled out to Atlanta as he arrived in there about 20 minutes late earlier. So right here, we have an Alaska Airlines Airbus A320. He's coming from Seattle and is canceled on the way back. And then right here, uh, we just have some extra GSC. And then right here, we have an Alaska A319. He is coming from Portland is not going to make the return flight as he's canceled. Uh, as well as this one. But anyways, this one here is a spare gate, just to let you guys know. I believe this is gate Bravo 
six. Uh, but anyways, we have our Amer uh, Alaska AP20, as I said, or Alaska AP19, excuse me, uh, as I said, his root. But anyways, this is occupied by Delta, Alaska, and American. Right here we have our American Air American Eagle and Bear 140 in the Breast Cancer Awareness Livery. He's sub in for CRJ900, as nobody has released those yet. But anyways, he's canceled on his way out to Phoenix um, as he's arrived in from Phoenix. And then, right here we have an American Airlines 737-800. Get a better view of that right there. Gorgeous. Uh, but anyways, this 800 is going to be launching out non-stop to Chicago O'Hare as he arrived in from Dallas-Fort Worth an hour late. And then right here we have our Allegiant A320, or A319, excuse me, with Sharkles and the delivery. Uh, he is actually going to be heading out 20 minutes late out to Ponta Gorda uh, as he arrived in from Phoenix earlier. That's Phoenix Mesa. Those are the only two Allegiant roof operating out of Tucson at the moment. Now we're here. We're at our thumbnail shot. Uh, these are crazy, but all of these four flights are going out to Phoenix at roughly about the same time. Uh, so I just thought it'd just be extra dramatic for me to line them all up for the runway or our imaginary runway at least. Uh, but anyways, I mean, it's pretty darn crazy that they have the FedEx 75, Solid 737 Max 8, um, it's really an 800, I'm subbing it in for a Max, then American 737-800, putting it in one world, and then the 800 regular, uh, by Southwest, all of them, that's two Southwest 800s, one American 800, one FedEx 75, and then there's also one Southwest 700, which I'm not putting in, uh, for this time, but anyways, all these four, this is our thumbnail shot. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and put the picture on Flight Order 24 for you guys on the screen. Uh, but it doesn't have the FedEx in it. But I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the departures right now. So anyways, that's cool. But anyways, right here we have our Southwest 737-800. America 737-800. Southwest 737 Max 8 or 800. Then our FedEx 752. Uh, all of these flights are surprising heading out to Phoenix uh, for groundings, I believe. So anyways, that does conclude this video. Uh, if you liked, of course, please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the post notifications and share with friends, family, relatives, whoever you want to. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more great aviation content coming up. Uh, and stick to my channel, and I'll see you guys later as Genius Aviation is now signing off.